finally some luck. We found a good set of diagrams of our next mission area, and it is the mech production site. The entrance to the facility narrows considerably at this point. Look out for an ambush. This mining facility provided much of the raw material for the factory. Documents mention that the extensive mining has rendered the area very unstable. Feel free to destroy this run of conveyors, but do not damage the processing building or the other conveyors. That's your route into the factory. We think you can cross over via this conveyor, and then maneuver through these processing bays until coming out at the back of the factory. Op points Abel and Baker. Expect this entire area to be heavily defended. This should have been Team 3's job. A full lance of heavy mechs. Some good news. Epona Rhee is back on our flank. She broke radio silence 15 minutes ago. Had some trouble with Jaguar patrols, but picked up good intel on sites north of here. She's in position to assist us once we penetrate to the factory.
So, let's hope for the best online. of this time. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Single fire engaged. Target fire engaged. I'm going back this way because this is where it crashed the last time. Up top. Just using the road. Clear the processing facility. All workers pull back to the factory. Here comes the fun part.
targeting. Come on, AI. Come on. Ugh, whatever. They are coming. No one touches their commander. He is mine. Need help. Isn't it great to feel wanted? That's salvage. Oh yeah. Extremely good salvage, Damocles One. Can't ask for much better than a clan factory. We might ask for a working dropship. I'm working on that. In the meantime, Epona's earlier scouting has pointed out several good routes to the next operations area. You'll have to pick up salvage. You know, I don't remember signing on for the walking tour of Tranquil. Am I happy to be here? You bet I am. Well, if you're wondering what the hell happened to Dominic, I'm pretty sure he got stuck somewhere after he decided to cross that bridge, and, well, sometimes the game glitches out, and it just goes smash on the head. So, I'm pretty positive that's exactly what happened. But I'm okay with the fact of how that Annihilator battle went since... Four LB-10 XACs are not exactly the greatest things in the world to go up against. So, onward to Operation 3.